Shall we bow our heads as we bless the Lord? Let's exalt his holy name. Let's magnify him. He is wonderful. He is great. He is a great father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. We magnify your name, Lord. We glorify your name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be thy name. Glory to your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. There is none like you, Lord. There is none like you. None to compare to you. You are the best, O oh God. You are the greatest, O oh God. Hallelujah. There is no power like your power. Wonderful Father. Thank you for your grace made sufficient for us. We thank you for your glory that you have given to us and put in us. Your glory that shines in and out of our lives. We appreciate you for blessings, for breakthroughs, for global Akadeborama. We bless you, Lord. We exalt you for the food we eat. Thank you for provision. Thank you for the water. Thank you for the air that we breathe. Thank you for everything. We hallow you. We hallow you. We hallow your name, O oh God. Be thou lifted high up continually in our lives and through our lives. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for setting us apart. Thank you for the life of excellence. Thank you for the life of mediocrity is far gone from our lives. Thank you for the life of average is far gone from our lives. Thank you for the life of stagnancy is far gone from our lives. Thank you for progress. Thank you for continual progress. Thank you for continual advancement. Thank you for whatever we lay our hands upon to do prospers. Thank you, Father. Everything we do moves forward. Anything we are part of moves forward. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for beautifying our lives. Thank you for garnishing our lives. Thank you for the joys you have decor used in decorating our lives. Thank you for life on this earth. It's pleasant. Thank you. Thank you. Here yeah, on this earth, a hundred folds. In time to come, eternal life with you. In the name of Jesus, where we will reign forevermore. On this earth, we will reign. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, our lives will continually bring glory to your name. In the name of Jesus. People will see us and say, oh, wonderful people, great people, beautiful people, the lost people, Malaketea, blessed people. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We appreciate you for good health, for long life, for strength to our bones, to our bone marrows, to our joints. Thank you for everything. We appreciate you for the good business. Thank you for the good business. Thank you, Lord, for the good family. Thank you for the good home. Thank you for the good husband. Thank you for the good wife. Thank you for the lovely children. Thank you for the great children. Thank you for the blessed children. Thank you, Father. We appreciate you for the jobs you've given to us. Thank you for the wonderful career. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate you. We exalt you for a beautiful and wonderful ministry. We appreciate you. Thank you. Hallelujah to your most holy name. We exalt you, Lord. Be continually exalted. Be magnified continually. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we put our hands together for the King of Kings, for the Lord of Lords, for the Alpha, for the Omega, the beginning and the end. Your father, my father, Malakata. Your great friend, my great friend. He is our all in all. Ekebolakate is the cable cantaya of Saint Barakoto. Yes, and Talakoto. Ibara. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord. Even if we had a thousand and one mouths, there will still be enough to bless you. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, you may be seated. God bless you. 
Thank you for honoring my father. Thank you for honoring my king. Thank you for honoring my maker. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name. This month is your month in Jesus' name. Your month of advancement. Your month of amazing advancement. Your month of amazing advancement of destiny. In the name of Jesus. Your destiny will advance this month. A step further. Many steps forward. In the name of Jesus. What you were last month is not what you are this month. What you are this month is not what you are tomorrow or next month in the name of Jesus. For the part of the justice as a shining light that shines more and more and more and more and more until the perfect day. Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Glory be to God. I feel like I'm exalting the Lord, blessing the Lord, is magnifying his name. He's so wonderful. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful that I belong to a father like that, who is so wonderful. And because he's wonderful, I am wonderful. Because he's amazing, I am amazing. In the name of Jesus. Because he's delightful, I am delightful. Because he's productive, I am productive. He's my father. I'll be like no other one, but like my father. Like father, like son. Hallelujah. Glory. Our God is wonderful. Oh, how much more can we say about him? He's endless. Endless, hallelujah. He's the beginning, he's the ending, he's the alpha, he's the omega. So, whatever he begins in your life, you will complete. Philippians 1 says, He that has begun this good work in you will complete it. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate you. Amazing advancement of destiny, or if you like, amazing destiny advancement. What? Same thing. Amazing advancement of destiny. What is the meaning of the word amazing? I'm going to teach more today. A few minutes left. I will go into prayers. Amen. Amazing. What does amazing mean? I checked the dictionary. For the definition of amazing, amen. We'll start from the known to the unknown. Hallelujah. Amazing. Wonderful. Amazing. Delightful. Amazing. Great. Genesis 12, 2. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. And I will make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. That's amazing. Amazing means wonderful. Delightful. Great. And God has promised to make your destiny amazing. He said, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. And make your name great. Your name is a great name. You shall be a blessing. Just because of your name, people will get promotion. Just because of your name, you just give them a complimentary card. They present it and there is favor. And there are some others in our midst that just the mention of your name, that that person is connected to you, he will be favored. Your name will be a blessing in the name of Jesus. What is amazing? Miraculous. What is amazing? Miraculous. The late Abishabi Dawson of blessed memory once described or defined miracle like this. Now what I cannot do, you cannot do. Only God can do it and all eyes see it. That is a miracle. So what, what nobody can do, what your father cannot do for you, what your mother cannot do for you, what does cannot do for you. Only God is able to do it. And all I see it is evidential will be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, sorry, verse, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. Chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen, ear has not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of any man what the Lord has prepared for those that love him. Amen. Those that love him, God has prepared what? Great things, amazing things, wonderful destiny, miraculous destiny, unbelievable destiny, extraordinary destiny, mind blowing destiny, inconceivable destiny. Eye has not seen it, ear has not heard, it has not entered the heart of any man what God has prepared for you. So, whatever you are going through now is not your end. 
Whatever you are going through now cannot define you and will not define you. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. He that is in you is greater than that problem or whatever force that is behind that problem. That's why I know you will rise again. You will do well. You will surely expand to the left and to the right. In the name of Jesus, the God of advancement is on your side. The God that is amazing is on your side. The all-glorious God, the all-powerful God is on your side. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I have not seen, ear has not heard, and neither has it entered into the heart of any man what God has prepared for you. That is what it is called amazing. Amazing means unbelievable, inconceivable, mind-blowing. Hallelujah. The miracles, the breakthroughs, the advancement, the progress you are going to make very soon will be mind-blowing, inconceivable. It will be unbelievable in the eyes and the minds of people. Extraordinary. But there's nothing they can do about it. Glory be to God. What does advancement mean? We said it's the month of amazing advancement. What does advancement mean? Progression. It means development. It means increase. Advancement means progress. Advancement means expansion. Isaiah chapter 54. Let's read from verse 1 to 5. Isaiah 54, 1 to 5. Sing, O barren, you who have not born. Break forth into singing and cry aloud. You who have not labored to fight. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married woman. Praise the Lord. Enlarge the place of your tent. God is saying to someone today. It's a prophecy to someone. It's not all the time we say, hey, 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 said the Lord. No, as we are speaking the word of God, as we are preaching the word of God, God speaks and, and we prophesy the word of God. Word of knowledge comes. Word of prophecy comes. But those who are last will pick it. They will pick it in the spiritual realm and they will make it manifest in the physical by claiming it by saying, Amen. Hallelujah. Enlarge your tent. Somebody listening to me. God is saying, enlarge your tent. Get prepared. Get yourself ready. Remote and tire, katoya, katoya. Enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwelling. Do not spare. Lengthen your cords. You are going to expand. It is a mode of expansion. Amazing one in the name of Jesus. He said, you get yourself ready. Spiritually get ready. Physically get ready. Thank for those who were baptized yesterday. They are, on, they are on their way. They are getting themselves ready. They are getting themselves prepared. Hallelujah. For the greatness ahead in the name of Jesus. As we are baptized, the water has washed away every debris. Every Hallelujah. Everything that is corrupting, that we co ever want to corrupt your life, has been washed away in the name of Jesus. That signifies the washing of the way of your sin and everything contrary to your progress by the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. And now you have now risen to a new life. Your new life has just begun in the name of Jesus. So what about yesterday? What about that last person? The, the last person you went to talk about today. That person is gone. All things have passed away. All things have become new. You now have put on a new man. You are not going to set the former person. If you're looking for the former they will find you. You are a new person, a new creation. A new species. Right now, by faith, believe it, and it shall be so in your life in Jesus' name. And because the blood has washed your sins away, not only your sins, it has also washed away all problems and evil that has been pursuing you in your life in the name of Jesus. That is why you are no more candidate of generational uh, cost in Jesus' mighty name. You now have a blessing. Bible says that what's said right now, Genesis chapter 12. It says, You your name is not a great name. You are never not blessed. You are a blessed person. So generational blessing is yours. In the name of Jesus. But right now, enlarge your stakes. Lengthen your cord. Strengthen your stakes. Verse 3. For you shall expand. Hey, you shall expand. You shall expand. To the right and to the left, and your descendants 
we inherit the nations and make the desolate cities inhabited. Verse 4, do not fear. Let me tell your neighbor, do not fear. Now tell yourself, Michael, do not fear. <laughs> hey, do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. Time is gone. And but all time is gone. From your life in Jesus' name. No more shame. No more embarrassment. No more public ridicule. You have been set aside, set apart from God by God for the top only, for brightness in life, for excellence in the name of Jesus. No more embarrassment. No more shame in the name of Jesus. No more disgrace. Hallelujah. Verse 4 again. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. Neither be disgraced, for you will not be put to shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth. Like I said to people who talk about life, you will forget the shame of your youth. The past is gone. And all the shame of the past have gone. In the name of Jesus. For your maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. Because you have been baptized, you have, you have a significant, it's, a, it's, a, it's an accord, a public declaration of your union with God Almighty Christ. Your marriage with Christ. Hallelujah. It shows your marriage with Christ. You are now one with Christ. You can't be one with Christ. It can't be for you and it will be against you. They will not succeed in Jesus' name. The Lord is your husband. Amen. And the Lord of hosts is his name. He's the God of the heavenly host. Hey, that's why the prophets war on your behalf. Take over all your battles. Take over your problems. Take over every everything that wants to be. You or hinder you from running your race and achieve your destiny in the name of Jesus. And your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. He is called the God of the whole earth. I will give you the offering. Give him the clap offering. He is the God of the whole earth. Let's honor him. Let's exalt him. Let's bless him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be thy name. Glory to your name, O oh God. This is for you, Lord. We magnify your name. We glorify your name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. You may be seated. God bless you. I said I was going to hold myself. The Spirit is in charge. Hallelujah. My bully kid, I'm so excited. I'm so delighted. I, I want to point out to you what the Lord is doing is today. Things I saw. I pray that your minds and your ears, your spiritual mind, person be opened to this thing. Your spiritual eyes be opened. Your eyes be understand be opened to understand and grasp what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't worry about how these things are going to happen. Is that is not your problem? That is not your duty. It's not your function. It's the Lord's function. That is the Lord's function. Just leave it to him. He knows how to do it. He knows what to do. All you need to do is to strategize and position yourself correctly. Position yourself. Get yourself ready. That, that's your own part. He's not the one that is going to do this for you. He said, you prepare. Get yourself ready. Prepare. Make yourself available. Prepare yourself. Position yourself correctly in the word of God. Study the word of God. Go closer to the word of God. Study the word of God every day. I tell you, there's no other thing that, that, that will succeed by, by the word of God. Without the word of God, nothing happens. Nothing. Your prayer is useless without the word of God. The prayer is just mere exercise without the word of God. That's where the power is. The word of God it comes with power. It's quick and powerful. Sharp on the edge of the sword. That's the word of God. So we must get this word of God. Study it. Who are making it today, even in Christian in this street? Don't have two heads. What they what they have is the word. Is the word. If you two can stay with the word, if you two can study the word, if you two can digest the word, and the word of God and demonstrate the word of God, practice the 
word of God. Live by the word of God. I tell you, your, your destiny will change for the better. Your destiny will change. The word of God is quick and powerful. It's full of power. That is the power of the believer. Let us go to the word of God. Ah, to the word of God. Let us study the word of God. Let us read the word of God. Let us digest the word of God. Morning, afternoon, evening, night, eat the word of God. That should be your first food. And I tell you, your life will change. In the name of Jesus. I see by faith. Your life will change. I see by faith. Your life is improving. As you study this word, your life is changing. Everything that was against you has now returned away from the way. The Lord has destroyed it. The word of God is like, is like a hammer has come down upon every stone, every barrier that has been blocking your way. As you study the word of God, believe this word of God, profess this word of God, practice the word of God, the hammer of the word of God will fall upon them and shatter them to pieces. All those problems will be shattered. All those problems will be shattered because the word of God is like a hammer. Anything that wants to destroy your life, that wants to hinder you from making progress in life, the word of God is like fire. It's like fire. It's like fire. It will burn them up. They say, consume fire. My God is a consume fire. He is the world, and the word is himself. And when he speaks, fire comes out. And because you are a child of God, when you speak, fire comes out from your mouth in Jesus' name. So as you study the word of God, you are you are equipping your words with fire. You are equipping your tongue with fire. So when you speak, fire comes out. In the name of Jesus. The Lord has made your tongue a weapon of war. A weapon of war. Your tongue is a weapon of war. Whatever you decree comes to pass. Whatever you cancel is cancelled. Whatever you allow is allowed. The word of God is here in your mouth. It's a weapon in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, God. Glory, glory. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. One thing I must tell you before you go. Don't think of how this is going to happen. Stop calculating. You are too intelligent. That is the problem. You are intelligent. You know, you know that judge said to Paul, he said, too much reading has made you mad. Too much reading. So because your intelligence is the problem. It's standing on the way. You are not too intelligent for God to help you. If you cannot humble yourself, say people who are called by the name shall humble themselves. If you can just humble yourself, Forget about your intelligence. Forget about your cleverness. Forget about your, your degrees. Pull them down. Lay them down. Paul said, for me to go forward, for me to make progress in life, I'm paraphrasing. I must forget those things that are behind. All those qualifications, all those advancements, I must forget them. I must look forward and go to pray forward. Who was the mark of the high God in Christ Jesus? Hallelujah. Let them be back. All your victories, put them behind. There are more victories to be won. There are more battles to fight. Greater things are ahead of you. Stop lamenting about the past and stop all the ruminating on your victories in the past. It's time to go forward. It's time to go forward. He said to Moses, tell the people to go forward. Let them keep moving. Don't stop moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. The way forward is to go forward. In the name of Jesus, you will go forward. You will move forward. You will advance. The strength and the grace to keep moving. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus, no stopping you. No one can stop you anymore. The stop you in the past. That was the past. You are a new person now. A different person. You are a child of the word of God. You are an embodiment of the word of God. <laughs> Which means you are an embodiment of power. Of fire. I say to you one more thing that God anything. God can use anybody to make sure that his children move forward. 
they are blessed and they will make it. God can go to any extent for you. Just remain in Christ. Don't take yourself away from Christ. Stop fighting the Lord. Stop fighting the word of God. Stop selecting the word you obey. Full obedience, complete obedience is required from you. And that sickness will be gone. That problem will be gone. That promotion will come. That advancement will come. In the name of Jesus. If you can just obey him fully. Say, if you obey. <laughs> hey, say, obedience is better than what? Sacrifice. He said, if they can just obey him, their lives will be. If we can just obey, that's all he wants. Just obey them. He said to Abraham, Now I know you love me. Why? Because Abraham obeyed him. May you obey the Lord. May the grace to obey that spirit of obedience to the Lord God Almighty be your portion. In the name of Jesus, God will use anyone to orchestrate your advancement and forth. In the name of Jesus. So, as we conclude, let's look at the life of the lepers. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jesus is Lord. Second Kings chapter 7. Now, just read one verse. At your own spare time, you can read the whole account. I know you are already used to that, that account. The four lepers. The story is that the four lepers sat at the gate. They were, they were outcasts. Lepers were outcasts. They were cast out of the, of the society because of the, the kind of disease they, they had that was so contagious and could spread. So they separated them and kept them in a particular camp outside the city. So these ones were outside the city. Amen? Amen. And these four lepers, they were friends. And then they were just comparing notes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Compare notes, you know. <laughs> Compare notes. And then... I believe one person started it. I said, come. come. My people will say, come. Oh. Come. Oh. come. Let us be together. Why should we remain here? We're not making any progress. We're not making any progress. We're just here and we're hungry. If we go back to the city, they won't, in the first place, they won't even allow us. And nobody is bringing food for us. No food. Even the we heard there is austerity, there is food. That is, there is uh, inflation. Amen? Amen? No money. So, we are going to get the money. In front of us, the enemies camp. But they are blessed. There is money there. There is food there. I think, why should we remain here until we die? Why should we, because of pride, remain here and not move forward? Never beg. Thank God for your life. Amen? You are not a beggar. And you will never be a beggar. In Jesus. But when somebody has something you need, there is no harm in finding out from the person how to do it. What is happening? Let me know. Teach me. Amen? Because of pride, we don't do a lot of things. Because of pride, is pass us by. Pride goes before a fall. I bury pride from your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn that pride in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Amen. Receive the spirit of humility. Amen. For pride brings a fall, but humility uplifts. May the humility of Christ uplifts you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Why should we remain here because of shame? of shame. You are dancing on top of broken bottles. Which one is more? Which one is better? Because of shame. You are just dancing on top of broken bottles so people can praise you. By the time you'll be lamenting and treating those wounds, nobody will be there. The same people who are pushing you on now, there are those same people that are the ones that will laugh behind you. And there are many sacrifices around today. That will you because of what they will gain. Oh, if something happens in your life, you can't know the difference. It's when something happens, you know the difference between those who really love you and those who are just, just praising you because they want something from you. May God separate them in your life. 
May God separate them in your life. May God separate them in your life. In the name of Jesus. I pray that those that will help your destiny to move forward be attracted to you. And those that will draw it back be gone in Jesus' name. Before let us then, we, 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 I think we should go forward. It's better to go forward. I've the enemies might even preserve us. They might not even kill us. Let us try. So in essence, if we must die, let us die going forward. <laughs> Are you following me? Appeal. If I must die, what should I do? Let me die going forward. Let me die trying. I, I, I first heard it from uh, General Wagner when he said history will forgive you if you make a choice and the wrong choice. But history will not forgive you if you do not make any choice at all. So, make a choice. Let's go forward. Let's go forward. Hallelujah. And they decided, they stood up and went forward. Hallelujah. Second Kings 7, verse 3. Now, there were four lepers with leprosy at the entrance of the city gate. Why stay here until the four lepers were used by God to fulfill the prophecy of the man of God. Man of God, pray, he prophesied, by this same time tomorrow, one loaf, let's use our modern, our modern currency, one loaf will be sold for one, is it one penny they call it? <laughs> it's too high, that is the second in command to so the to the king, that is the, 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 the what is it called? The prime minister. He said, even if God opens the heavens, there's no way that will happen. Do you know where he was speaking from? He was speaking from economy, economics. But probably he was a professor in economics. He has, he has crossed the T's and dotted the I's and looked at everywhere. No, 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 this cannot happen. He was using his intellect, his brain to calculate. When you use your intellect to calculate God, when you use your internet to calculate the things of the spirit, you miss it. It will never happen the way you, it might not happen the way you think or the way you want it. God knows how to do it. His ways are mysterious and hard finding out. And then all of a sudden, look at what God did. God can do anything to ensure that your prophecy comes to pass. You just believe it. Keep watching over your prophecy. It will surely come to pass. There are no, many prophecies in the Bible for you. Pick the one that concerns you. And watch over that prophecy. And there are some people who speak prophecies over your life, like I'm speaking today. Pick the one that concerns you. Walk with it. Believe it. And it shall come to pass. Because it's not the person saying it that will do it. It's God. He's just a vessel. The man of God is just a vessel. <laughs> in the hands of God. And that man, the two eyes, he said... What? It can't happen. So no problem. No problem. Man of God said no problem. <laughs> you will see it. Oh. You will not eat of it. Please, you don't believe it. Do you know something that happened <laughs> between the angel and Zechariah? Yeah. I brought this message. You doubt me? You will dumb. Oh. God did not send an angel that one. Oh. That was not part of <laughs> That was not part of the message he was sent. But he was he was, he was, he was the and then God, and you are looking down on me like this. You, he said, you'll be dumb until it happens. And according to the word of God, honored the word of that angel. Even though he didn't send him to do that, but he honored the word of that angel. No other uh, Isaiah said, no, not Isaiah. And like I said, before God, whom I that's for another time. But let me complete this and we'll, we'll call it a day. The four lepers were used by God to fulfill the prophecy of the man of God. The man of God said, by this time tomorrow, one loaf of bread will be sold for a penny. That two eyes, he said, no, there's no way it will happen. He said, you will, eat, you will see, but you will not eat of it. And look at what happened. God used lepers. Who would have thought? 
who would have thought that God would use lepers? Four lepers. They now made that decision to go forward. Your decision to go forward we can affect and will affect your generation. Your decision will affect either positively or negatively your family, not only yourself, your family, your household, even the church and your nation. Just one man's decision. So let's be very careful the decision we take and the steps we take in life. If it's going to affect only you, then we'll be at least terrible, but it's not going to affect only you. There are people whose destinies you don't even know that are tied to your destiny. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please fulfill your destiny. Because some destinies are tied to your destiny. Fulfill your destiny. That's what we, one of the things I will speak for you when you get to heaven. Praise God. Hallelujah. All of us went forward. They went to the camp of the enemy. And the enemy heard the sound of, of horses multiplied, magnified in their ears. Who did that? God magnified the full steps, the small steps of these lepers. Probably they were able to throw in because they didn't want to be they didn't want to be caught. They didn't want to be seen. They were tiptoeing. And those sound of, of these toes, God magnified it in the ears of their enemies. And the enemies thought that their enemies have gathered more to come against them. They said, this, this storm is too much. Let's run. Let's take cover. And they blow the trumpet, the trumpet of war, take cover. And all of them started taking cover. I believe God that all your enemies will start to take cover. They will start to pick up and run with their weapons. They will run in the name of Jesus. They will give up on you by force, by fire. In the name of Jesus, they will let you go by force, by fire. In the name of Jesus, they will let your destiny go by force, by fire. In the name of Jesus, nothing can stop you. Nothing will withhold your blessings. In the name of Jesus, your health will be loose. Your blessing will be loose. Your business will be loose. Your show will be loose. Everything concerning you that the enemy has said will be loose. In the name of Jesus, they will take cover. They will run for their lives. In the name of Jesus, God will magnify your power. God will magnify your steps. God will magnify your prayers. It will come down on them. In the name of Jesus, it will devastate their kingdoms. In the name of Jesus, it will set their coven on fire. It will set their evil altars on fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. And by the time the lepers got there, nobody was there. So much food. Hey, God is, that's why he said, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Get ready. Don't borrow a few vessels. Get so many. As many vessels as you gather, that is what you will get. So just begin to gather as many. Get ready. God is going to fill everything. Everything you present to him, he will fill up. That's a prophecy for someone. In the name of Jesus. That's why he's saying to you, get ready. He's about to do it. And he can use anyone, he can use any situation to do so. Like he used the four lepers. By the time the four lepers got there, so much food. Plenty. God is taking us into the land of plenty. Flow with milk and honey. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is taking you to your wealthy place. Ah, that idea to make business production that will bring you more blessings and more riches. God will drop in your mind. God will drop in your heart. In the name of Jesus, the weapon to win wars, God will give to you. The strategy to win battles, God will drop in your mind. In the name of Jesus, they say I death for the world. How true. Because God's divine idea created the whole world. May this divine idea create your world for you. A new world for you. A new world for you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The four lepers were used to do this. God used them. And, and by this, the four lepers said, we cannot, we don't want to eat alone. No way. Even though these people did not want us in the city, it doesn't matter. We can't pay evil with evil. Let's go back. Let's go back and tell them. There is plenty of food here. And they, they brought, with, uh, what do you call testimonies with food in their hands. Plenty. Is that so? The lepers, they were not, they were not listened to. They were considered an outcast. People started to listen to them. People followed them. Hallelujah. They didn't listen to you before now. Nobody wanted to hear you. 
Not even in your family. They didn't want to hear you. But by the time God brings you to this new level, people will seek to hear you. If you are not there, they will not make any decision. They will wait for you. They will look up to you. Whatever you say that becomes law. In the name of Jesus, you will rule even in the midst of your enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. You become VIP, very important personality. In the name of Jesus, you will become a celebrity. In the name of Jesus, you will be celebrated. You will be celebrated. You will be celebrated. In your society, you will be celebrated. In your home, in your family, you will be celebrated. In your workplace, you will be celebrated. In that business, you will be celebrated. In the ministry, you will be celebrated. You will be celebrated. God has promoted you. You are now world-class celebrity. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And look at that. The four lepers were used by God to bring plenty to the people. They followed them. By the time they got there, as the lepers told them, they gathered as much as they could. And the auction came. <laughs> auction came. Auction, auction came. Auction came. Ma baba. Hey! Going, 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 going. One penny, one loaf, one penny, one penny, one penny, one loaf. And that was exactly what the man of God prophesied. The one man of God, when he prophesied, he didn't know how it was going to be done. He didn't consign how it was going to be done because it was not his business. His business was to prophesy. It was the business of the Lord to bring it to pass. And God did his own part of the bargain and brought it to pass. Ah, you just say it. Just prophesy it. It is God's business to bring it to pass. So I want you to stand up, beloved. Begin to prophesy. Begin to declare. Make declarations right now. Ah, it is not you that will bring it to pass. It is the Lord. Like this man of God, prophesy, decree it. By this same time tomorrow, by this same time next year, I will be this, I will be that. This will happen to me. This will happen to my family. In the name of Jesus. By this same time tomorrow, this nation will be this. This nation will be that. Begin to decree. Begin to proclaim. And God Almighty, the whole of heaven, will honor your decrees. Thou shalt also decree it in Job 22, 28, and it shall be established unto you. Ah, ye kebo, mobo le keteya, o le keteya kata, regu la kataya, o le ke sata, la kateya, o zente, de kete, rakato robo, iza, rebo roko sata, decree beloved, decree, 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 proclaim it, Proclaim it on the rooftop in the name of Jesus. Barebobobosete in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name, God. Glory, glory. Jesus, you are worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, King of Kings, I thank you. I never expected to go this way. I just wanted to teach your children when you took over. Thank you because I'm happy you did. For your children are blessed. So I pronounce and decree that this blessing you are giving to them today will never be corrupted will never be destroyed. will never be stolen. Amen. They will not lose it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray God the grace yes. for humility Amen. be their portion. Amen. And let this humility lead them up. Amen. In, Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I know by the time this humility will lead them up, nobody will bring them down. Yes. So I pray Lord God Almighty Almighty now continue to guide them. Amen. Let your Holy Spirit continue to inspire them. Amen. Direct them. Amen. Give them the ideas they need to rule their world. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray, Lord, they will never fall into any trap. Amen. Any trap set for them will catch the owners. Amen. Your children will go by Amen. and jump over and be safe. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Any stone rolled against any one of these, I decree those stones roll back to center. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As many as have gathered against these ones, oh God, against your children. I pray, oh God, that they will stand up for them. Amen. I send confusion to their camp. Amen. They will start fighting one another. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank I you, I declare their conspiracies 
all their counselors they turn to foolishness. Amen. Like the counsel of a hate people in the Bible. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. I hereby rededicate your children and this new week in their lives. In the name of the Father. Amen. The Son. Amen. The Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Give it up for the Lord. Amen. 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 You may be seated. God bless you. Thank God for what you have heard. Please try to walk by what you have heard. All the prophecies that concerns you, claim them, pray over them, and don't stop until they come to pass in the name of Jesus. God will do it. Mine was to speak. I have spoken. It is the Lord's duty and his angels to bring this to pass. And I know they will come to pass in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen.